putting North Dakota first. Welcome back. In tonight's KX Conversation, we are joined by Battalion Chief Glenn Hardy of the Minot Fire Department. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Yep. Certainly. Now, while we're speaking with you tonight, we're discussing something that's returning, which is the 2021 Citizens Fire Academy. It's happening Saturday, September 11th from noon to four. Uh, tell us why you're putting this on this year. Well, there are different reasons a fire department will put on a, a Citizens Academy. Uh, one of them is just public awareness. You know, some people might want to know what their what their tax dollars are doing at the fire department. Uh, so there's that. Uh, another reason, it, it can be a, a recruitment tool, uh, get some people in to see what we do, and maybe they want to do that for a career. Uh, and another reason could be just uh, the relationship between citizens and, and their fire department. Uh, now, this is, uh, no prior knowledge is required that you say. Uh, you're not, you don't have to hang around for the whole event, but the one requirement you are asking for is people have to be 18 years of age. Why is that? Uh, just adult people, um, someone that can uh, sign a waiver form okay. uh, uh, for themselves and think for themselves, and um, basically that's it. Okay, so if I show up on um, that Saturday, uh, the 11th, what am I going to see? We're going to have four stations set up. Uh, this will be at our training grounds. Uh, we have a training tower there that's four stories tall. Um, we're going to have a station set up for rappelling off the top of that building. Now, if you're really afraid of heights, which a lot of people are, which is natural, uh, we can go out the second floor window, which isn't so scary. So we can set up that station too, and we probably will just have that set up. Um, <clears throat> another drill will be a search and rescue drill, uh, teaching people how we search for people that might be in a burning building. Uh, we have search patterns that we do, so we teach that. Uh, we'll have some cars there that we can cut up with our jaws of life. Uh, with our uh, cutting tools and stuff and, and people actually get to do that too so uh, they've had a lot of fun with that one and uh, another uh, station will be our aerial setup that people can go up on uh, which goes up 90 feet so uh, those will be the four stations okay and do we have to sign up uh, ahead of time to let people know how many people know that's coming yes i do i do like people to register so we have an idea of, of uh, what the turnout is going to be um and, and that's through email to me, to my okay. work email, um, glenn.hardy at minotmd.org. Okay. That's Glenn with one in. All right. And, and, and we talked before this interview, you said even though it's not necessarily tied in with 9-11, uh, it is quite appropriate that you're having this training on September 11th, given all right. that the uh, fire crews uh, did that day and they do every day all around the country. And uh, to my knowledge, we're not interfering with any other events that are happening. So, And as you can tell, work never stops for you guys, even during an interview. Right. So, right. so uh, Battalion Chief Glenn Hardy, thanks so much for your time. And uh, here's hoping for a great turnout. Thanks for having me. Certainly. Yeah. Next on KX News.